care and use of Desco Model 24 needle guns is presented by Desco Manufacturing Company. Part 3 of 4, Maintenance and Lubrication. Maintenance and lubrication are essential to tool performance and tool life. The things you need to know are, every 8 hour shift of operation the needle gun should be taken apart, cleaned, inspected for wear or damage, oiled, and reassembled. Supplies you will need are low viscosity pneumatic tool oil, a 5 16 inch Allen wrench which is supplied with the tool, and a clean cloth to wipe down the tool. The maintenance procedure for the Model 24 needle gun. Remove the needle guide nose piece. Using the supplied 6mm Allen wrench, remove the bolt which secures the nose piece. Set the bolt aside for later use. Remove the nose piece by pulling forward. Remove the locking ring and set aside for later use. Remove the needle holder by grasping the needle cluster and pulling forward. Inspect the needle holder to make sure there are no broken needles and that the needle holder is undamaged. Replace if damage is evident. Remove the anvil. Inspect the anvil to make sure there is no damage or scarring. Replace if damage is evident. Wipe clean the cylinder bore using a clean cloth. Clean the anvil. Put a couple of drops of pneumatic tool oil on the anvil. Distribute the oil using a clean cloth. Replace the anvil in the cylinder bore, making sure that the flat side is facing outward. Put a couple of drops of oil on the needle holder. Distribute the oil evenly using a clean cloth. Replace the needle holder by inserting into the cylinder until it contacts the anvil. Clean the locking ring. Put a couple of drops of oil on the locking ring. Distribute the oil using a clean cloth. Replace the locking ring and tighten hand tight. Snug when the locking ring makes contact. No tools are necessary. Replace the nose piece. Insert the retaining bolt and tighten with the 6mm Allen wrench. Finally, lubricate the tool internally. To do so, put a couple of drops of oil in the air fitting. Then attach an air hose and run the tool for a few seconds to disperse the oil. The maintenance operation is now complete and the tool is ready for another 8 hours of service or to be put into storage. Upon completion of maintenance, be sure to properly dispose of hazmat material and properly store the tool. Refer to the MSDS for proper handling and disposal of hazmat material. In this procedure, that would be oily rags and gloves. Store the tool in a clean, dry area as indicated by the tool room supervisor. Store tools in a secure manner such that they do not fall off shelves and get damaged. Avoid stacking tools on top of each other. Thank you and have a fine Navy day.